Hello everyone and welcome back to the remote working series. I'm Francesco and in this series of videos we're talking about the world of remote work. Now in today's feature we're going to be talking about five task management applications that you can use to organize yourself. Now, just before we get started, I want to thank our sponsor, Hive. Hive is a project management software that teams can use across their day to organize all of their projects, tasks, and information. Hive has a lot of awesome features like integrated chat, project views, project templates, and also hundreds of other available integrations. Now, the guys at Hive gave me a 10% off Hive subscription for all of you guys, so you can access a Hive subscription 10% off using the code remote work. So thanks to all of those guys there, and I'll include everything in the description below. So keeping yourself organized and keeping yourself understanding of what your to-dos are across your day is pretty important. Now, as a remote worker, you need a lot of accountability. You're working away from the office where there's maybe the pressure of a boss looking down the back of your neck or even being in the same vicinity. So being able to be respectful to that and make sure that you're accountable to that is very, very important. So obviously personal task management is something that you should definitely consider. Now you might have a few project management softwares you know, that you might be using in your day, of course, but when it comes to a personal to-do list, this can be your way of managing your personal to-dos and your work to-dos. So I wanted to recommend five to you guys and start that off with Todoist. Now Todoist is my personal task management of choice. It's pretty easy to get started and it has a lot of advanced functions. So the real benefit to it is that you can start adding things to an inbox and then organizing them across your next seven days. You can organize things in lists. Uh, also you can use things like labels and filters and also plan things uh, in advance and even use a reschedule function inside of it in case you you can't fit all of the tasks in one day. The next task manager I want to talk about is TickTick. TickTick is very similar to the likes of Todoist and actually provides a pretty easy way to get organized. Now, what features I like is uh, the completion feature. You can actually see how far you are into a task. They've got a nice calendar function in there so you can see all of the things you've got coming up soon, which is really exciting. They've also got some of the advanced features like labels, filters, smart lists, and things like that that you'll love and know in a to-do list application. The next application I wanna recommend is Things 3. Now, this is only available on iOS and Mac, whereas the other two were really available on a lot of other platforms. Now, this one, although it's available on iOS and Mac, is quite expensive. It's actually like $50 for the Mac version, and I think it's 20 or $10 for the iOS version. Now it's definitely worth it because the design is gorgeous. It's actually really easy to use and, and so easy to get on with. And actually the structure is fairly simple for absolutely anyone to jump on board. Now Things 3 has some awesome features like this evening, which can help remote workers. I actually struggle sometimes uh, differentiating tasks that I need to do for my personal life and professional life. So having a this evening function that breaks away a to do the today function away from this evening, you can see all of the stuff you need to do in the evening with your family maybe, and the stuff you need to do in the day. And there's a lot of smaller functions like that inside of that app. Although I don't recommend this one as a task management app all the time, Trello is a good solution. I know a lot of remote workers who use Trello and they find it very easy to get on with. Now Trello is known as a project management application. However, it can be used as a task management one. It's actually a good way to organize tasks and activities and it's a good if your team actually use it because you can integrate that and actually use that uh, when it comes to doing the work. Trello is available on iOS and Android as well as the web, so it's pretty available if you wanna get started. The next one is Microsoft To Do, and of course this is replaces Wunderlist. Now Microsoft To Do is easy to get on with. It's very, very basic though, so you won't have all of the advanced functions inside of the likes of To Do's, Tick Tick and things like that, and it's pretty easy to get on with. What I like about it is it's got a nice theme, it's got a nice design, and it's very easy to get on with, so you won't have any struggles whatsoever. So guys, I hope you enjoyed those personal task management applications. They'll be useful when it comes to planning your day and organizing things. In the next feature, we're actually going to be talking about tips for planning your remote work day and actually making sure you're all organized and have good practice for that because it's important to make the most out of your day. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Make sure to subscribe. I just wanted to mention Hive, who are the sponsor for this video. Make sure to take advantage of the 10% off 
in the description below. Anyway guys, make sure to have a great day, keep productive, and I'll see you guys very soon. Cheers.